My name is Debbie Meek and I'm the manager of James Lady Boots in Abilene, Texas. Custom cowboy boots is something that is a, a standard from, from way back. You know, uh, the old westerns that you see, you know, Roy Rogers, um, Dale Evans, they all had fancy boots, you know. And Our boots are the customers, they, they come in and, and most of them, they know what they want. They, they, uh, they want something that describes them, that shows who they are, you know, and, and I just help them do that. And it takes two, to, two and a half, three weeks for you to go through the whole process for one boot, one pair of boots. My dad started with his dad in Oklahoma. He started stitching when he was eight years old. And then he worked for his uncle downtown Abilene. And then from there, he went and opened his own shop and we've been going ever since. I've been here since 1977. I mean, there's there's a lot of stories you could tell, you know. Uh, the, little, the little peacock kid that has been riding for Sammy went out there to John yesterday. He came in there earlier and was telling me that he got out there on that old bronc and that horse went sideways on him. Throwed him off and kicked him in the chest. <laughs> See, he got back on him and rode, finished riding, but then, it, then he went home and laid down for about five hours. There was a girl out there riding that horse the other day. She didn't do nothing. We have repaired boots that are up to 40 years old, still. And as far as them lasting, it, it all depends on how they're taken care of. Old cowboys used to think that you could go out and stand in the water trough, put them up, wear them till they, they dry, and that's when you've got a good fit. And we've heard some old cowboys talk about putting pinto beans in them, filling them up with pinto beans, and you know how when you added water, and it'll stretch the boots out for them. My dad was a legend. And anybody that you talk to will say that the James is a legend. And that's what I'm trying to keep alive, me and my husband and my mother. You know, we want to keep that standard. We haven't changed anything. A lot of custom boot makers have gone to plastic welts and, and machinery and stuff like that to do the job that we still do by hand. And, and we're proud of it. But, you know, the quality of the boot is one of the main things, one of the main reasons for a custom-made boot. And I think, that's, I think that's another reason why a lot of people search us out. You know, they don't just see James Lady boots or whatever and come over. They'll check out other boot makers before they come to us. So, who do you think you are? I'm just a bootmaker.